Assalamu alaikum, hello, that Muslim dude here. What's happening? Hope everybody's in good health when they see this video. Um, here to throw this out there to my fellow Muslims. Um, you know how when you go to um, maybe say like you know, iftar, you know what I'm saying, after Ram, you know, after um, you break your fast, you know, go let go sit, sit and eat, and uh, alhamdulillah, you know, you serve some good halal food, or you know, you could just be like, you know, cooking the dinner for somebody. You know, for a gathering, for you know, just Muslims to get together, or just for your family, or maybe sometime for yourself, and uh, you go to eat some halal meat, and alhamdulillah, it's good. It's like it's like you're almost in Jannah. But however, it's mad salty, and or it's mad greasy. You know what I'm saying? It's like good, good graces for some of us. We get migraines after we eat, you know, some good halal meat. You know, it's like, oh, well, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so. Um, to those who have uh, who package up the meat, those uh, Muslim uh, places, uh, businesses, manufacturers, and whatnot, uh, what's the 411 on the halal meat? You know, why is there so much between 700 to almost a thousand? I mean, to a, all, over a thousand milligrams of sodium. I mean, that's that's serious stuff. I mean, uh, I mean the sugar is already killing us. The Coca Cola and the Diet Coke, you know, try not to kill us with all the salt and the yeast too. You know what I'm saying? We gotta try to watch what we put in our bodies, and uh, you know, this halal meat shouldn't be so mad salty. Um, so, like, you know, maybe you know, hopefully, inshallah, Muslim out there can start, you know, checking like you know, how to package halal meat without you know putting so much salt and grease into it. I mean, I know it's part of culture. A lot of African Americans and and those of uh, immigrant background, uh, you know, it's it's normal. You know, me coming from both those spectrums. You know, to eat a lot of greasy and, and uh, salty food along with you know, sugar, but it's not healthy. And we already have high diabetes and high blood pressure among us. And uh, we, along with exercising, we got to start keeping ourselves, you know, in good health because the rest of the world is seem to catch on to the to the um, to the health wagon. Uh, we got to start jumping on the two more of us, you know, just not just a few. So. Uh, to the halal meat out there, alhamdulillah, it's wonderful. Keep eating it, Muslims. You know, keep searching for it. But uh, you know, to those out there who serving it, um, can you stop making it with so much salt, please? You know, I'm tired of getting migraine headaches and you know, getting the itis. You know what I'm saying? Just mad falling asleep after eating it. Um, so please, uh, work on the sodium and the crease. And uh, to those Muslims out there, let's try to eat more healthy if we can, and uh, hit more juices rather than hitting uh, Coca Cola. Right, it's part of our culture, but yet we got to start switching up a little bit because um, it's not really doing us much of any good in terms of health wise. So, that Muslim do here telling our fellow Muslims to uh, wash the sugars and the salts and the grease and those who pack in it to try not to do a sin. Please, I saw what I can do. That Muslim do out.